Mr. Met is the official mascot for Major League Baseball's New York Mets. He is a man with a large baseball for a head. He can be seen at City Field during Mets home games, has appeared in several commercials as part of ESPN This Is Sports Center campaign, and has been elected into the Mascot Hall of Fame. On April 30, 2012, Forbes magazine listed Mr. Met as the number one mascot in all of sports. Mr. Met was first introduced on the cover of game programs, yearbooks, and on score records in 1963, when the Mets were still playing at the Polo Grounds in northern Manhattan. Comic book artist Al Avison was at least one of the artists who contributed to the character's design. When the Mets moved to Shea Stadium in 1964, fans were introduced to a live costume version, portrayed by team ticket office employee Daniel J. Riley. Mr. Met is believed to have been the first mascot in Major League Baseball to exist in human as opposed to artistically rendered form. He was also the first person on the Mets to be represented by a bobblehead doll. In the 1960s, Mr. Met occasionally appeared in print with a female companion, Mrs. Met originally called Lady Met, and less frequently with a group of three little Mets children, the smallest was a baby in Lady Met's arms. Mrs. Met was debuted in a short-lived live costume form in 1975 before being reintroduced in 2013. In the mid-1970s, the Metropolitan's franchise began to dissolve the Mr. Met mascot. In 1976, he appeared on the cover of the New York Met's official yearbook. After that time, he was not utilized in their advertising and he remained absent for almost 20 years. He was phased out prior to the upsurge in mascot popularity caused by the famous chicken and the Philly fanatic in the late 70s. In 1979, after the Mets discontinued use of Mr. Met, the team briefly experimented with a new mascot named Metal the Mule that was a living animal that would parade along the foul lines prior to a game. In 1992, longtime Mets fan, Lois Kaufman of Queens, New York, wrote a compelling appeal for his reinstatement and asking the Mets to resurrect the mascot. The team did not act quickly or grant Lois her request to be Mr. Met. However, in 1994, they did follow her advice and revived Mr. Met as part of a promotion with Nickelodeon. After a long absence, Mr. Met was quickly re-embraced by New York Mets fans and has since remained a constant part of the franchise. Mr. Met is prominently featured in signage all over City Field. He was also heavily used in Shea Stadium signage, as seen in this photo. On April 14, 2002, the Mets held a birthday party for Mr. Met at Shea Stadium. It was attended by costume mascots from all around Major League Baseball and by Sandy the Seagull, mascot of the Brooklyn Cyclones, the Mets farm team. In the 2003 season, first baseman Tony Clark was the first Mets player ever to wear the number 00, Mr. Mets number. In June of that season, he switched to number 52 when Queen's school children asked him what had happened to Mr. Met. On September 14, 2007, Mr. Met was elected into the Mascot Hall of Fame. Beginning on August 14, 2009, throughout their series against the San Francisco Giants, the Mets wore throwback jerseys featuring a Mr. Met patch on the right sleeve. Currently, Mr. Met can be seen at City Field during and after games. He is usually found near Mr. Met's Kitty Field where fans can meet and pose for pictures with him. He can be rented for special events and private parties. Mr. Met is also featured on Met's Money, which are in one, five and ten dollar denomination gift certificates accepted at concession stands and souvenir shops at City Field. The design is somewhat reminiscent of standard U.S. currency, but instead features images of Mr. Met attired and posed similarly to the historical official Washington, Lincoln or Hamilton, featured on the respective bill. The second version of the Mr. Met head is now on display at the New York Mets Hall of Fame and Museum at City Field. He is baseball's favorite mascot. In 2013, the Mets introduced batting practice caps featuring Mr. Met on the front. In 2014, the Mr. Met sleeve patch is featured on the Mets, blue alternate home and road jerseys. In 2015, a far more detailed Mr. Met backstory was written by a longtime fan in cooperation with the team and published by Mascot Books. Mr. Met has been portrayed by many people over the years. Dan Riley was the first person to wear the Mr. Met costume, starting in 1964. 
In 2007, Riley wrote a book about his experiences with the team, called The Original Mr. Met Remembers. Mr. Met was portrayed from 1994 through 1997 by A.J. Mass, currently a fantasy sports writer for ESPN and author of the book How Fantasy Sports Explains the World, published in August 2011. AJ also wrote a book on sport mascots entitled, Yes, It's Hot in Here Adventures in the Weird, Willy World of Sports Mascots. The book explores the history of mascots, motivations for becoming a mascot and gender diversity in the world of mascots. He also talks to the pioneers among modern-day mascots like Dave Raymond known as the Philly Fanatic, Dan Mears known as Casey Wolf, and Glenn Street known as Harvey the Hound and finds out what it is about being a mascot that simply won't leave the performer. AJ Mass also wrote an article for ESPN on June 1, 2017, titled Take It From a Former Mr. Met. It ain't easy being a mascot. In this article, Mass went into detail about the hardships of being a mascot. This article was written after Mr. Met gave the fan the finger during a game. Matt Golden portrayed Mr. Met from 1999 to 2011. On May 31, 2017, Mr. Met was heading back to the clubhouse after a Met's loss when he engaged in a heated exchange with an opposing fan. The argument ended with Mr. Met giving the finger towards the fan, which was caught on video. The Mets then changed performers for Mr. Met. In a 2003 This Is Sports Center ad, when the show ends, everyone rushes out of the studio, creating a massive traffic jam. It then shows Mr. Met and Lady Met driving home on the freeway with the Met children in the back, with Lady Met subtitled as saying they were glad to get out early. The New York Mets theme song, Meet the Mets, is on their car radio. A shorter version with just the Mets family has Mrs. Met accusing Mr. Met of making eyes at one of the female ESPN sportscasters. In 2009, Mr. Met appeared in another This Is Sports Center ad, which Mr. Met is talking with Stuart Scott at a microwave. When Josh Hamilton shows up to use the microwave, Mr. Met angrily gestures at him and walks away. Hamilton is confused until Scott reveals that some of the balls Hamilton hit in the 2008 home run derby were actually relatives of the mascot. In 2007, Mr. Met became a spokesman for MTA New York City Transit, appearing on several advertisements and safety messages within the New York City subways and buses. He was also featured in commercials for MLB 06 A Show, a video game for Sony's PlayStation 2, where a camera crew followed him around as he performed his daily duties, such as buying coffee and picking up his laundry. In 2010, he began appearing in commercials for Citibank that aired during Mets broadcasts, inducing Mets fans to join him in a Let's Go Mets chair during mundane activities such as business meetings. He has his own build a bear workshop store, but instead of at City Field, it's located at the Mets flagship store on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue. Mr. Met was featured on the remake of The Odd Couple. In it Oscar Madison was to throw out the first pitch. His estranged father Gary Marshall is with him and the senior Madison gets Oscar so mad that he hits Mr. Met in the head. The Mets get Oscar to, as a publicity stunt, apologize to Mr. Met. In 2019, Mr. Met appeared in an episode of Madam Secretary. Newly elected President Elizabeth McCord, anxious about throwing a ceremonial pitch at a Mets game, dreams she knocks out Mr. Met instead. Mr. Met and the Philly Fanatic did a MasterCard commercial in 2013 to raise money for ending cancer. According to his 2019 Tops opening day baseball card, the hustling humanoid loves getting selfies taken with fans and raising money for charitable causes.